So we often say that we like certain cars here at Ackham. Now I can 100% say I like this particular one because I have exactly the same car myself. So this is an Audi Q7 50 TDI Black Edition. So it's the right spec, right engine to the 50s, a 286 brake horsepower diesel, and you still get a good fuel economy from this. This is a 21 plate, done just over 30,000 miles, full service history, so it's been well looked after. And then it's also been cherished as well. It's got a nice kit on it by a Maxim body kit that was put on by the previous customer, customer who's very well known to ourselves. But the color combo with the black edition and the Navara blue just works really well. Audis you traditionally see are black, white, and gray. Navara blue, nice refreshing colour, works well with the black edition because you've got the gloss black grille, badges, you've then got that extra Maxton splitter that we were talking about. You've got obviously Audi's LED headlights, which for me is one of the best in the game. They're a very, very good headlight. Coming down the way of the side, so 22 inch trapezoids. These are now discontinued. So for me, it was the best wheel available on a Q7 and again, they've stopped doing them. So to get them is very hard. Second thing that's also very hard to come by is on a 21 plate to get a pan roof was difficult. You might remember back then there was semiconductor issues and whatnot that affected the availability of pan roof. So to get a Q7 on this age with a roof is difficult. The reason I have one of these is because of the space. So we use the seven seats not that often, but if you want to use it as a five seater, you've got plenty of space. Those full three seats work on a bench row. So what that means, I'll show you now, is you can have them all at different different lengths so if you wanted to slide that one forward because you had someone slightly taller in the back or someone slightly short in the middle you can do so to put the seats down as well if you slide that back it's just one button the rear seats are all electronic and you can control them from the side there or from the back so when you get to the back if you're going to use it as a seven seater you still have an element of a boot that you don't really get on many seven seater suvs usually the compromise is if you have the seats up you've got zero boot whatsoever this still has a decent boot Adaptive air suspension you can change from the back and then the seats are purely electronic as well. So if you just literally pull the toggle and then you can just slide them down. So there's no manual kind of change or anything like that. You can just do it all yourself. They are fully working Isofix seats. The reason I stress that is on some seven seaters of years gone by, they're just like a pop-up seat. You wouldn't want a child sat in one of them, but they are Isofix and the car physically tells you if they are locked in position or not. 21 plate gives you that dual screen and then the, obviously the virtual cockpit. This one has virtual cockpit plus, so it gives you different information, also a larger screen. The two screens in the centre, I'll show you what they do and what they control. Fan Nappa leather seats, which are heated and electrically adjustable with memory settings. So if this is going to be a family SUV, two different size drivers, you don't have to fight over someone moving the seat and someone not moving it back. The roof is an absolute monster one. I purely know how hard they are to come by because I had to wait for ages to try and get one, purely because of that semiconductor issue. So. One, it's a huge cost. Two, it's just a nice bit of spec to have. Digital dash, for me, one of the best digital dashes you can get. Yes, I'm used to it because I've got one, but it's just dead straightforward to use. Really clear, you've got your nav, media, phone, then any information like fuel, tyre, service, etc. Dual screen at the top, again, just dead straightforward. Two iPad-like systems, so your top one can be completely separate to this. So you might have your nav on over here, but your media on there, whatever way you want to do it. Heated seats, all control from the touchscreen. Dual zone climate control. Then if you pop it in reverse, you've got front and rear centers and a rear view camera. So they are a big car, but it gives you all of the tech you need to help you park it. Loads of different safety systems on these as well. So if you are going to be using it as a family car, it's got Audi pre-sense to help you in situations where you maybe aren't concentrating. It will have cruise control as well. And it's features that you would want a car like this to have. So four wheel drive quattro as well, which for me, one of the best four wheel drive systems available. And the gearbox is very, very smooth. So you've got three, just shy of 286 brake horsepower, three litre diesel, four wheel drive. It looks the part with the kit, the colour, and it has full history. So it's a really nice Q7 this. So if you are interested, you can contact myself. My name's Paddy, and I look forward to speaking to you.